Okay, uh, lecture two for Food Chain is on Blue Zones, and it's going to be an activity for you to do. Now, you need to watch this video, watch the various associate videos associated with another, another resources, and complete the activity before watching the second video. It's important that you do that. I will post some reminders about this a little bit later on. Okay, so we'll explain what Blue Zones are. Some of you may have heard of them. Um, I seem to have, yeah, so we'll look at, I've got principles and claims there twice in the uh, contents, you'll excuse me for that. It links to somewhat the lifestyle medicine, the concept that uh, food as medicine, which is an interesting concept. Uh, look at the recommendations from the Blue Zones and talk, and I uh, say, loop back to the activity. So what are Blue Zones? Um, this is the definition of a Blue Zone taken from Dan Bootner's book on the topic. It's a clear definition. And population data is quite easy to find these days. So it's an anthropological concept that describes the characteristic lifestyles and environments of the world's longest lived people. And then it goes on to suggest that these characteristics could be extended to wider groups. Uh, okay, so there's a link through some UK statistics. I mentioned these are easy to find. This is from the uh, um, this is from uh, Office of National Statistics looking at estimates of the very old influence centenarians in the UK up to 2016. So the point about this is the background data is, is well available for practically all countries in the world now. Now I mentioned population pyramids in the in a previous lecture, uh, so I'll bring it up again there. We'll, we'll, we'll skip on fairly quickly. Yeah, and again, uh, different characteristics. Um, some of you to have a think about there. Um, what national characteristics do you think are responsible for the variations? We talked a little bit about these in the previous lecture, but have a look at them and think about what they say about the population distribution in these particular countries. Okay, back to blue zones. Principles and claims. Uh, so there's uh, Bune and Skemp uh, paper. And there's a link through. Uh, you, you probably have to have a search for that paper, I think. Is there a link through there? Yeah, you're probably going to have a search for that paper. I'll, I'll see if I can find it and put it in the notes. So what began as a National Geographic expedition read by Boner to uncover the secrets of longevity, evolved the discovery of five places around the world where people consistently live over 100 years ago, dubbed the Blue Zones. Uh, it's linked there to the American College of Lifestyle Medicine, which we'll have a quick look at. Uh, I think in the next slide. Yeah, okay, so we'll go back we'll Go back a slide. Let's pause the video and open that. Yeah, so here's the American College of Lifestyle Medicine. Its status as a college is uh, an interesting question. Um, but we'll skip over that for a minute. Um, but it does, it does map through onto some good science in various respects. And we'll talk about this a little bit later on. So there's uh, a reasonable definition. Lifestyle medicine, the use of evidence-based lifestyle therapeutic intervention, including a whole range of things, as a primary modality. And modality is a group of policies, effectively. Uh, delivered by clinicians to prevent, treat, and often reverse chronic diseases. I'm not too keen on the word prevent. Uh, perhaps reduce the rate of the incidence of a particular chronic disease in a population would be a better way of looking at this. But have a look at the website and have a think about it. And again, look at this before you go into the second video or the second lecture in this series. Yeah, so the Blue Zone uh, summary in 90, the Blue Zone in 90 seconds. So stop my video and have a watch of this. Uh, watch it and look at the resources on the next slide. So pause the video and then continue on. Right, okay, I'll assume you've done that. Uh, yeah, uh, so lifestyle medicine, as I mentioned, is linked to Blue Zones. It involves the use of lifestyle therapeutic approach, approaches, uh, such as these... Uh, Gra graphically represented here, including things like exercise, plant-based diet, exercise, sleep, stress management, alcohol moderation, and tobacco cessation, as well as the non-drug non solutions. Um, to They do say, again, prevent uh, the incidence of, of lifestyle-related chronic disease. The better word, better word is, is to say reduce the rate of and I should mention there, chronic diseases. Chronic diseases are the diseases that manifest themselves over a long pre period of time. Um, we'll talk about this more in the second year when we look at lifestyle and health. An acute disease, for example, will be something that manifests itself fairly quickly. So, again, when we come to the micronutrition lecture, 
micronutrients lecture we'll talk about things like scurvy which arises fairly quickly if people don't have enough vitamin c in their diet the diseases we're talking about here things like heart disease stroke uh, stroke maybe dementia a chronic disease which take perhaps decades to develop. Uh, yeah, so Boone in, in identified a number of blue zones around the world, uh, which are worth having a look at. Uh, some in America, Sardinia will have a look at. Uh, Okinawa is also one in China, which I'll look in detail. Um, I'll link this page is some World Health Organization data on life expectancy at birth. So again, just to emphasize that there are quite a lot of data available. Uh, so these are some of the recommendations. I'm not going to list them all. You can get them from uh, Boone's information. Many of these recommendations are commonly from lifestyle advice in general. Some such as join a faith-based community may be more problematic for some people, but you know, move naturally, um, moderate drinking of wine, eat more plants, uh, have a purpose, are uh, probably good things. Um, so some examples there. Do some background radio and blue zones yourself. And there's a image, image summarising the blue zone principles, um, which is linked through, um, link, link the images and have a look at the information link there. Okay, so we'll expand on this activity a little bit. Um, in the notes I'm going to supply for the module. Uh, define blue zones, you should be able to have a think about the concept. Um, how, how, how good do you think it is? Now, as I mentioned right at the start, do all this before you look at the second lecture. Okay, that's all for this one. A fairly short one.